Hey everyone, this is Lobotomize. This is going to be my tutorial guide for Dead Ops Arcade 3 on how to acquire enough keys to reach the skip for the Fate Stones by round 5. So you need a total of 3 keys. Obviously you get one in the beginning. When you enter the wild, hopefully there will be an arcade machine to the left. There is not one here, so you want to continue to press forward, move together to activate the hives as one so you can take them out more easily. Right to the right, there will be a pressure pad on this pillar here and you want your friend to stand on the pressure pad or you can do it in solo or you dash over with the lightning bolt to acquire the key and or mech that sometimes spawn there or tank or helicopter whatever it might be but lower the lift acquire the key and be careful of the spikes as you pass through the spikes to the next area they can get you you can dash or use the mech whatever it may be hopefully at the wall there is another arcade machine there or one of the arcade machine spawns we do not get one there continue to press forward recommend using the first person clearing out all the hives in the back left to where the portal is at in that corner there can also be a key spawn as well as to the right in the woods as well as a free man in those woods to the right where you initially saw me going we're going to check the dungeon to see if there's a key we do get a key sometimes it's good to clear the dungeon because as you will see here and this is a very low chance of it happening you get a marvel boss and what happens when you get the marvel boss once you kill him you get a free fate stone yes that is right you get a free fate stone so you can stack multiples once we kill the boss we proceed over to the pad and notate the room how it looks like it is a octagon room that is what you're looking for every single time it will be an octagon room with no Gaps in the center, clan the stone, get your fate. Furious feet for free. Unbelievable. So we continue forward like you normally would here. Progressing up the right side of the map, that is the direction you want to go to the skip. Do not go through the portal. Enter the bonus room. Collect the goodies here in the bonus room. Have your friend stand at a plate, fortune or suffering, whatever you choose. Make sure that you don't have a key when you do that because it can take a key from you. Once you get through the door, do not go left. You want to continue straight. And there can also be another arcade machine spawning on the back side of that blind wall where that gap is. We do not get one there, but that is the three spawns that are in the beginning. If you guys know of any other spawns besides those three, please let me know in the comments below. But as far as I know, those are the only three spawns for the arcade machine. There is also three variations of Silverback Slideways, one which always having a key during the day. So, continue pressing forward. Do not activate the loot to the left or grab the loot before it will activate the Guardian. You can continue pressing forward past the floggers, immediately go to the right. And just disregard the boss as well. Enter the kaboom room. Grab your nukes. And proceed out past the flogger again to the right. Now once you reach the flogger, you can wait for it. But if you're in, you know, constraint of time, guys chasing, you can use a dash and or bomb with the invulnerability phase to get through. We choose to wait here just because everything's cleared out for the current moment in time. So once you pass this flogger... You want to continue straight, go for the river, and take a right and enter our next dungeon. And again, for time's sake, a lot of people go in and out just to check the key and the life, and then don't go through the dungeon to lose any lives and time, which I completely understand. So you can swim up this river here on the right side of the bank. Notate pushing yourself on the far right side of the bank will allow you to move up. And then you can continue moving up over until the next warden grabbing the first person clearing out the hive. There's also a shortcut in the river to get to the elephant which I've been taking lately um, that also gives you another key over it and that way we'll point out a little bit later. Using the first person procedurally clear through all of the enemies here because in the far back um, in the direction that we're looking at currently there can also be a key which you'll see here in just a moment. So the warden's kind of cheesing out right there. We grab the, the six fouls, go finish him off. And the crypt that's up here um, is more of a bonus room than it is a dungeon. 
it repeats itself in other dungeons as uh, a bonus room within the dungeon, which you can see if you see a, a set of staircases, as well as during mid-rounds. You might see the bonus room, the crypt room. There can also be a life underneath this bridge. It's always good to swim and check underneath there, just in case there is the free man. But I'm going to go ahead and go up and grab this weapons crate and grab all those upgrades as well as the first person and then proceed to move up to lay waste everything up here, clearing it out. And where the key spawns is always in this back corner right here. So if you just wanted to grab the key and, and disregard everything else, you'll see it right there, right in that back left corner. It'll always spawn there. There's no other spot back here that it can spawn. So go into the crypt. Clear out the goods, there's ch chest, couple spiders, one hive, uh, skeleton, uh, looks like army of darkness skeletons hives. They're in the back left corner, get the couple chests there. Do not use keys on chests until the very end of the game if you have extra keys and you really, really need it, points. But in the beginning, do not use keys on chests. Get the free man there, I'm bouncing off that. That one's very easy to do, you can pull your camera to the right, make sure you're um, in top view. So right to the right side of the elephant, at the bottom of that road, you continue that path and that will take you to another key. Um, sorry for the bad edit, not showing it more descriptive, but right when you activate the elephant, all the, all the way to the right. So you want to use your third key to activate the skip, and this will take you to our final dungeon. I'm sorry, not the final dungeon, but the third dungeon. We get another key here. Proceeding up, we're going to grab these boosts. And that will allow us to do a, um, a little trick here with these bounce pads. Now this can be kind of difficult, uh, but with practice you'll be able to get it done. Now I don't make the mistake I do, I try and bounce pad to the next largest part there. You want to bounce pad right to the smaller flatter island. And then turn and, and jump to the other one grab the life and the keys that can potentially be there which I poorly display here but also to the left side of uh, where we entered there can be a lot of chests and guns if you're looking for that to go over and clear any enemies or wardens so we're gonna continue up the mountain as you typically would killing the werewolf and past this bridge here is where you can use keys to reveal your fates and make sure that you're getting the one that you specifically want because that is always better rather than going with RNG but there is a chance even if you reveal the stones that RNG of the game uh, quote unquote tile set can screw you and omit two of the fates currently that is how it is there's only four fates in the room there's talk of them being six fates eventually putting them all six in the room because two of them you can randomly get in your game through one of these dungeons like you saw us get in the beginning of the dungeon um, so we get some more free lives, and that is the last of the dungeon. So if you continue south, there is these doors that you can go through, and that goes that leads you all the way back out to the uh, beginning of the wild where you started on a top uh, side of it. There's a couple secrets there, nothing really too worth your while grabbing, but it's fun to explore always. So we check that out just for the sake of doing it. So at the beginning, you might have noticed a lift where the uh, stone reveal is. You stand on that pressure pad and your buddy lifts you up. There's also a way to slide up there where that bridge is at. You can get uh, flush on the wall and use your LB to dash up. So we're going to continue up the mountain uh, where the warden door is. I'm sure you guys have been here before. And now you enter the fate room. Or the room of fate, rather. There can sometimes be a free man right there in the middle. There is not here in our run. But we're going to go and grab our fates. And this is basically where you're at now with the setup. Once you get set up, you're good to go. And you will return back to round five with the gladiator rounds at. Strapped and ready to go. I hope you guys liked the video. And have a great day.